we haven't even communicated to the person properly or that person we haven't given him or her an opportunity to communicate with us and we have started making so many assumptions there is no communication proper communication you know there is one um, husband and wife a couple they got newly married now this uh, They, they don't know so much of each other and they're newly married and the husband you know early morning he has to go on a job so he's telling his wife you know she's in the kitchen he said can you be a little quick to make my coffee you know otherwise you know and she's like no no I, i'm just bringing it and she just runs and brings the coffee can you make the water hot for my bath you know otherwise you know she's like no 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 i'll just do it in 5 minutes now every time the guy was threatening her like this so once she goes and you know confesses her confesses this to her best friend you know all the time you know my husband for everything he'll say otherwise you know otherwise you know what i'll do otherwise you know what i will do oh my god i'm all the time on your on my toes you know so this lady was quite intelligent she said this time when your husband says that you ask him otherwise what so she said okay so she just took up all the courage next day morning her husband said can you make the hot water ready for my bath otherwise so she came out from the kitchen and she said yes otherwise what and he says otherwise what i'll take bath with cold water i'll just take bath with cold water what's that no problem so now she understood oh this is what he meant to say whenever he said otherwise otherwise oh that is what he wanted to say otherwise i'll take bath in cold water that's all right that is the thing non communication oh communication can sort out so many things you know like i was just telling for everything we think this is should be the solution we, we like we condition like that now i was um, reading one beautiful article the other day let's say uh, two children are fighting over a orange fruit okay so now what what we are conditioned to uh, you know what you say conditioned to give judgment is if, if two children are fighting over an orange cut the orange in two pieces and give them half of that solid we are conditioned that should be the solution but actually it was other way around when the two children were given uh, oranges Uh, the child who got a half piece he just took the pulp and threw the skin and the other child he took the skin and threw the pulp because he never wanted the pulp he wanted the skin for making some experiment and this child never wanted the skin he wanted the pulp to eat it now if there was a proper communication okay what do you want what do you want then what we could have do is give the whole fruit to this boy and give the pulp to give the skin to this boy but we condition ourselves this is the way solution should be we don't we don't give a third option either this or this this there cannot be a third option that also makes us angry our conditioning non communication non acceptance why do we get angry because we don't accept krishna's plan see one thing if if something is happening according to our plan we should be very happy but if something is not happening according to our plan we should understand that it's happening according to krishna's plan because there are only two people here there's no third person either it's happening according to your plan if it's not happening according to your plan it's happening according to krishna's plan just accept it if we have faith on krishna and we understand that he's our well wisher then we'll not get angry why does a person get angry anger fear all these are symptoms of not having faith on krishna what is fear the difference between our plan and krishna's plan krishna has a plan we have a plan and we think maybe our plan is not going to work krishna's plan is going to work and that makes us fearful why fearful why can't we have faith on krishna krishna is our well wisher so that makes us angry that makes us angry when things don't go according to our plan non acceptance of situation we want situation to happen according to us what's the other reason we get angry ego too much rigidity everything should happen according to my likes and dislikes when i said this it should be done when does somebody get angry when somebody has no empathy for other people's likes and dislikes maybe he wanted to do it that way maybe she wanted it that way but we my likes and dislikes my way or the highway so when we have developed that kind of mentality then we get angry 
वी आर नॉट रेडी टू एक्सेप्ट अदर पीपल्स ओपिनियंस श्रीमद भागवतम कैंटो वन चैप्टर सेवन दैट इज दिस पास टाइम ऑफ अश्वत्थामा वेन अश्वत्थामा वॉज कॉट you know because he, he killed the five upa pandavas the children of pandavas so now everybody was of different opinion draupadi and yudhishthir said let's forgive him he is a brahmana putra guru putra let's forgive him <clears throat> bhima says no we should kill him krishna says no you should kill him so everybody was having different opinions krishna though he is a supreme personality of god at still he did not say but are baba i am god listen to my opinion he said no no everybody give opinion what do you say what do you say what do you say everybody's opinion and then those opinions were synthesized and then finally they came to one conclusion okay let's kill him but not kill him that means we don't physically kill him but we insult him by taking away his uh, jewel so like that you know we we learn from mahabharat we learn from bhagavatam and chetan chartam and how different devotees opinions were respected but we don't want to do that so that makes us angry we want to everything should happen according to my likes and dislikes prabhu krishna 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 lage sab krishna 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 sab krishna 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 lage sab krishna